Welcome to Real World AIP. I'm Stacy, and today I want to talk about an alternative protein source <laughs> that I was exposed to when I went to Paleo FX in Austin this spring. There was a company that sold cricket powder and cricket products and people were just swarming around this display. Like I was surprised by how open-minded they were. I had never eaten crickets. I think that's gross. Thought it was gross. <laughs> Everybody was doing it. It was like the cool thing to do. They were getting more attention than like some of the more normal things. Anyway, they had whole roasted crickets and then they had brownies made with the cricket powder. I wanted to try it. I want to be one of the cool people trying the, the you know, eating bugs because you know it is like the wave of the future this is sustainable protein you know it's something that maybe like a vegetarian can wrap their head around doing you know it's a bug it's not cute and sweet they're not sentient and they're a great source of protein they're, they're actually healthy and the chitin that's in their exoskeleton is a type of fiber it's great for your microbiome lots of good stuff going on there but i'm reading the labels and you know the the roasted crickets, they had uh, maltodextrin, you know, derived from corn, probably. Uh, the brownies had all kinds of stuff in it that would kill my stomach. They had powder, but they were, it wasn't for sale. So I was like, whatever. And then, you know, time went on. I got home. I went online. I looked into it a little. I wanted to try crickets. I thought it would be cool to, you know, maybe create a couple of AIP recipes incorporating that. So I learned that uh, crickets are fed gluten. Most of them. There's only one company right now. As of the day I'm filming this video, there's one gluten-free cricket company. And that's Entomo Farms in Canada. They're one of the two largest cricket farms in North America. The other one is Exo. So Entomo Farms, they had, they used to have two lines of crickets. And one was just regular fed, and then the other one was gluten-free. They've switched over, now they are 100% gluten-free. They do not use gluten, because they, they did testing actually. The crickets that they had fed gluten to tested over 20 parts per million for gluten. They were not gluten-free. And that's because, you know, it's not like a cow eating some wheat or whatever. The cow meat is gonna be gluten-free. It's not like that. You're eating the whole cricket. You're eating what the cricket ate. You're eating what's in the cricket's belly. You know, they don't gut the cricket. The cricket's this big. They, they wash them and they roast them and they grind the whole thing. So you know, you got 500 crickets and every little, every little cricket has a little bit of gluten in their belly. Like, yeah. You know the saying, you are what, what you eat eats or you are what, what you eat ate, I guess. That really holds true for insects because you're eating the whole thing, the belly. Anyway, yeah, Entomo Farms. Okay, cool, they're gluten-free. Only one little problem. They're feeding them soy. <laughs> the cricket powder says, may contain soy. <sighs> and this was the cleanest option I could find in existence anywhere, for any price, anywhere. So I bought a couple pounds of the gluten-free, may contain soy cricket powder. <laughs> and it wasn't cheap. This is their old packaging. They, I contacted customer service, they reassured me, they're just using up the bags. It's, it's a different packaging now, but this is gluten-free. May contain soy, and I'm thinking, I'm being optimistic. I'm like, well, you know, it's definitely gluten-free, that's good, and what are the chances that tree amount of soy is really gonna bother me because before going AIP, I used to eat things here and there with trace amounts of soy, lecithin, like chocolate, and uh, I was okay. So I'm, I wanted to, you know, test it. Oh, by the way, another thing about crickets, if you have allergies, people who are allergic to shellfish may also be allergic to insects, just so you know. And I think I read somewhere dust mites. This really smells like delicious and yummy and it just looks like a roasty, toasty flower. It looks very normal, you know, there's no... I don't know that I'll ever be ready to eat whole roasted crickets or cricket tacos. They serve cricket tacos. I think it's Atlanta. One of the Atlanta sports teams serves cricket tacos. It's a thing. <laughs> We're coming hip to it. It is the wave of the future. And I'm sure they will be gluten, corn, soy free crickets at some point, but not right now and I want to try them right now. <laughs> anyway, I put this in some of my breakfast porridge. Couldn't even tell, like it was just added a little bit of nutty flavor and I wasn't like skimpy with it. I dumped in like a couple tablespoons and it was good. They were good. But 10, 15 minutes later, I just got a bunch of pressure in my sinuses and like a kind of a like pressure in my head and like brain fog 
just kind of like I don't know if it's cerebral swelling or what the heck that feeling is but I hate it and I haven't had it in years because I eat really you know I stick to my clean diet and I feel great all the time and I very rarely try new things but yeah it was just that tightness that tightness and just a little brain fog and like sinus pressure pressure I did not like that I don't know if it was the soy or the actual crickets. Now, I'm not allergic to shellfish and I eat shrimp all the time, so I can't imagine that I have a cricket allergy. You know, I don't want to try these again because I was probably reacting to what they ate, what was in their little bellies. <sighs> I'm very stubborn. <laughs> I want to make recipes with cricket. I had all these cool ideas. I was gonna add them to some flatbread that I had come up with and I was so annoyed that I couldn't experiment with these. These I'm probably gonna give to the dogs if they like it. I'm gonna actually see if, they, if they'll eat these right now. Let's do a little taste test. <laughs> Girls, you wanna help me out? I want you to test this cricket and see if you would eat it. Okay, here it is. What do you think, Lou? Does that smell like something you'd want to eat? What do you see? Was that, is that something you might be interested in eating? Oh yeah, okay. Let's see. Look, you guys. Oh, wow. I love it. Look at that. Well, the girls have a new kibble topper. <laughs> you liked it, huh? <laughs> Beautiful. All right, well, at least it won't go to waste. Thank you for your help. She's still licking the floor. <laughs> you can stop licking the floor now. <laughs> I won't give up. I decided that if, since there's nobody else out in the world, or at least in North America, or online that I can find growing crickets that aren't fed gluten corn or soy um, I'll just have to do it myself you know I ordered some crickets I got 500 of them <laughs> I'm gonna grow my own crickets because I want some gluten free and soy free and corn free crickets so you guys want to meet my crickets <laughs> mm, it's a little smelly in here See, so these are their condos. You don't want them fighting and, and cannibalizing themselves and all. Um, and they're nocturnal. They don't love, like, light and all. Anyway, this creates a lot more surface area for them to hang out in. And, oh, they stink. Oh, dear. Ooh. Um. Dear. Uh, the poop falls, when you have them vertical like this, the poop falls down and it's supposedly easier to clean. Now, I've only had these little buggers for, like, four days and... It's kind of messy, so I'm going to have to read up on a better way to keep them. I should probably have some kind of stuff on there, absorbent stuff. I don't I don't know. Um, that is a sponge and a waterer so that they don't drown. And they can just jump on the sponge and suck the water out. And that is soil. It's um, organic pest, uh, pesticide fertilizer free soil with mesh on it and that's where the females will deposit their eggs when they're ready to breed and then I can just remove that and incubate the eggs. They are, look at this little guy going to town on this carrot. They love carrot, like love it. I mean they'll eat apple too. They kind of eat anything you put in there. That was my homemade food they did a number on. They're all kind of hiding. They don't, they don't like this activity. This is how, so they can't get out. And I am not good with power tools. I really hacked this, but managed to, I used the whole thing of glue. Oh, so ridiculous. I managed to get this screen on the top. <laughs> not pretty, but it, it's functional. I'll let you know how this <laughs> carries out in a future video. I just love to hear your thoughts on this whole, you know, edible insect thing. I would love to know if you've tried them. If you would try them, what would it take for you to try them? I mean, you know, you can't even tell there's cricket in here. It's this nutty yummy powder. I'm not really a big daredevil fear factor kind of girl but I don't know. They've been eating bugs all over the world for forever. It's, it's a it's a paleo food. <laughs> anyway yeah let me know what you think and um, I'll have an, a nice recipe for you in my next video. Not a cricket recipe just you know a recipe. All right until then <laughs> be healthy.